We were 800 miles from home when I noticed a rusty steel strap hanging down under my pickup truck. Turned out it's one of two steel bands that hold the fuel tank in. It had rusted through after only 25 years. Hard to believe. Our son-in-law donated a ratchet strap and we got home with that holding the fuel tank in. I ordered two new supports and after FedEx flew them back and forth across the country a couple of times, they finally arrived. Considering how much salt many states put on the highways in the wintertime, I suppose I should be happy that these painted steel bands lasted as long as they did. I'd backed the truck up ramps and sprayed the bolts holding these straps in with penetrating oil a couple of days before the new straps arrived. There's the broken band and this is the brace to hold the tank up once I remove the ratchet. The tank is only about a quarter full, making this job easier. Removing the 15 millimeter nut was the easy part, thanks to an impact driver and a couple of extensions. What was difficult was getting the remnant of strap off that stud. It didn't want to slip off. I couldn't believe that it had been threaded on there originally. And it hadn't been, but it was distorted enough with time, rust, and tension that it gripped the threads and would not slip off. I began unscrewing the entire strap until I got enough space between the strap and the frame that I could get my fingers up there and wiggle and pull at the same time and finally slipped the remnant off the stud. I don't like working under cars with dirt and grit falling in my face, scraping my hands, pinching my fingers. I usually drink a lot of beer while I'm doing this, but this was still morning, so I refrained. Now it was time to release the ratchet. That tank holds more than 200 pounds of fuel I do not know how it stayed in the truck with only the front band holding it. The tank is only about a quarter full and because of the slope all of that weight is toward the front. Installing the new rear band was simple. One end fits into a slot and locks into place. The other end is held on by that nut. Of course it would be easier if I could see what I was doing, but once in, it stayed. Getting the other end started on the stud was a little bit tricky. I had to put an extra bend in the metal band. It's a good thing the fuel tank was almost empty and very light because as soon as I pressed up on the end of the band my wooden support fell out. Now all that's holding the tank is the front band and my thumb. You can't see what I'm doing off camera but I'm trying to get that wooden brace back in there. Whoops! Almost! Okay, that's better. Now, again. If it'll just stay for a moment. Well, I get the nut started. It 
Now the impact driver again. Another shower of dirt in my face. And that job is done. Now I've got a rule developed over many, many years about fixing things. Never mess with good enough. Question is, is replacing one band good enough? I have the other band. I'm already under there with the tools. But where is that other end? It's up there somewhere. Another shower of dirt in the face. And onward. The nut was easy to get off, but then I have the same problem I had on the other strap. It will not slip off the stud. There's no room to get anything up there to pry it off with. It looks like you can't get it off until it breaks, or until I cut it. Sometimes good enough is good enough. So I'll put the nut back on. And call the job done. One more shower of dirt in the face, and that should do it. I'll keep an eye on this, and probably I'll have to cut it off and put the new one on. But, not today.